previously on Fire Emblem Awakening. Yo! <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Bro, he died exactly! <laughs> Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another chill episode of Farm Awakening. How's it going, Raisins? Going pretty well. Chill indeed. We're going to a chilly location, in fact. Oh yeah, we are. We're I think it's snow. Fighting in snow, you're right. It's, uh, it's right over here. We're gonna do the Peaceful Village Paralogue. This is the only Paralogue left on the map. And the next ones are gonna be the Child Paralogues, which I've read unlock after or during Chapter 13. And I think one we're about to do is chapter 12, so that's a little bit away. And then we're going to be flooded with paralogs and options like that, so... To keep a bit of a mix-up, I think it's good to get this paralog out of the way. Let's get some Let's get some barracks. Some of these here. things. That's right. So it sounds like Crom and Olivia are taking their honeymoon to the snowy <laughs> lands in the north. <laughs> they sure are. It's, uh... It's not my favorite pair up for battle's sake, I'll just say it that way. Like, having to choose between my level 18 Krom doing anything and Olivia dancing for someone, it's not my favorite thing in the world. I notice you vanish from camp sometimes. <laughs> yeah. I'm married, dumbass. <laughs> I know. <laughs> sometimes I want to go off alone. Can you blame like, me? Come on, dude. Mind my own, let me mind my own business. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think they're gonna be together for battle. Oh, Sumia has the, actually has a dark flyer outfit. I didn't realize that. Oh, right. oh yeah. It was like all yeah. dark and everything. Someone remarks that the things in the background of the barracks get added as we start to recruit more characters, like those katanas in the corner from Longku. Yeah, you mentioned Longku's katanas, but I didn't know it was for every character. I think it's every character past a certain point. So things like Frederick and whatnot don't really oh, yeah. add anything because. It's yeah, he's one of the starters. Yeah, but there, there's a there's a whole list somewhere. <laughs> I think the five oh, second rule applies to sweets. <laughs> oh, you took up sweets on the ground? <laughs> I'm not at all. Look at what Gaius says in the Gaia, oh. bottom screen. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, I think I did most of the outfitting for today. I need to check how many diploma slots I've uh, I've got. Uh, I think I'm gonna field uh, like a bit of a B team today because I think the enemies in the parallel might be unleveled. I have a faint recollection of enemies auto-leveling a bit if you skip the paralogue initially. Do you remember anything about that? I have never heard such a thing, but if it ends up being the case, you know... Then maybe we don't beat team, yeah. Yeah, you've done your research. Yeah, we show up and everybody's like berserkers and Yeah. So let's just die turn one. <laughs> Stop. There's a village just ahead. Hey, look, it's Donald's. It's, 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 it's Donald's dad, actually. It's post time skip, Donald. <laughs> Donald's future child right. in the future. They're renowned for their hospitality. Yeah, this doesn't look like a very hospitality kind of region. I was okay. about to say. Also, isn't hospitality like letting people come to you? They do the opposite. <laughs> okay, so the, the Donald time skip guys are over here, and I think they look they all look the same. <laughs> For some reason, so there's like three times of Donalds now. Can can I just mm -hmm. get one of these, please? I don't need all three. I just need one. And then it's got a bunch of generic Horizon over here, just chilling. They're like level eight, so they're not much of a threat, I think. So that's why I'm gonna field some units that we haven't really seen a whole lot. Uh, I want to field Stahl. I've been training him a little bit, but not as much that he's like self-sufficient. Um, Cordelia, kind of the same, but she grows a lot better and faster, and she flies around, so she'll probably be better. And let's see what else we bring in. Probably not bringing Rickon for now. Uh, I should also mention that I've done some semi-final pairing decisions uh, for the playthrough. Uh, just for the sake of my Patreon, this is showing like, hey, this is where I'm at right now. Still open to changing stuff. Uh, but for example, I'm thinking, uh, let's see where they are. So I'm thinking Maribel is going to be with Henry uh, for easy Dark Mage Nostradamus access for their kid. Uh, I think that's Brady. Uh, not entirely sure on that one, uh, but no one really seems to care about Brady anyway. Um, Pan, I'm leaning towards Donald right now because they're paired. Uh, I could also switch it around with Gregor, because now we could also be with Gregor. Or with Donald, I think either way will work. Uh, but I'm 
pretty sure I'm going to go Pandonald, just because they've built a, a bit already. And I like the idea of super overkill stats on uh, on Na, which is uh, Na. Run Yarn. Or... Yeah, Na is, uh, what's her face? Uh, no, yeah, yeah, Yarn, yeah, 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 there you go. Uh, I was confusing okay. the, the parents, but yeah. Yeah, same thing, yeah. yeah. Uh, Cordelia, I'm actually working on a support between her and Style. They are at C right now, so they got a ways to go. And then Tharja, I was going to do Libra just because Libra has access to Tome Fair if they go Sage or uh, it allows the daughter, uh, Noir, to go Sage. Uh, but apparently I'd have to grind to like level 15 um, Sage for that, for Tome Fair, which is pretty far away. So maybe what I'll do instead is uh, do someone like Rickon. And uh, I might even just forego Tome Fair because it's a lot of work and go for something like dumb like Magicals too. It's probably still fine for a kid because they have like really ridiculous stats. And then uh, Shirch, who joins later. I had some suggestions on who to pair her with, but it's going to depend on like what happens to the other people. Uh, but that's kind of where I'm at right now. Would uh, you determine one for Naoi? Uh, yeah, Naoi, I was thinking Gregor. Um, probably. But I'm also level 14, okay. Yeah, she's did a lot. I haven't really I haven't done anything with her off screen, but she did a lot of work in the last map, the, the, the Gang Realm map. She took on all those mages, oh, remember? I mean, most of that happens off screen. Like, Imagine what I did on screen in that chapter, but then imagine even more than that because I found a better turn one with the rescue staff, which could kill even more people. Uh, that's why she only has nine dragons on uses left, so she should probably give her the other one that I have around here somewhere. Should be it. I don't think I'm gonna field her though. Let's see. I definitely wanna bring Tharja and someone to pair her too. I also wanna promote some people, give her some stat boosters, so she should probably do that first before I'm deploying. Um, Krom is definitely ready for promotion. He's like level 18, there's no reason not to promote him anymore. So let's uh, give him that Master Seal. The Master Seal. Make him a great lord. Apparently, and this class is like Hector's, I think. I don't think it's a mounted unit, but apparently he has lances. I never realized that he has lances when he promotes. But he does. Oh. E rank oh, class, but still. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I... What are you going to do? You get javelins eventually. So. Yeah. I guess we can work on that. It'll take a bit. Maybe this is a good map to do it for him, though, if I wanted to. Oh, it's probably not the best XP investment right now for me. Ooh. You might as well. Look yeah. at that. As Juicy as... four strength, Ooh. three defense. So the promotion gains are pretty big. Yeah. Like, the growths are big, promotion gains are big. Mm-hmm. Everything is big. Also, he's going to get that S support pair of bonus from Olivia whenever she's, like, with him. So, in a way, Chrom is promoting twice right now. He's going to get really, really strong. Exactly. It's... Mostly plus luck from dancers, I think. Probably. I mean, Olivia has luck plus four herself. I don't think that matters for para bonuses, but you're probably right that the class she is in gives a bunch of luck. It does matter a little bit. Whenever you pair up, there, there, there are several components that go into the stats you give, and one of them is actually your current stats. I think for every 10 points you have in a stat, it's either every 10 or every 20. Every 20 sounds it, like a very small amount. Yeah, it's every such and such number. You just offer an additional point in your pair-up. Oh, I see. So, I think it's probably close time. Fair enough. Yeah, as far as promotions go, something like 18. This is also a very good game yeah, for promoting I think 22. Will, I think it's will work. I mean, Robin murders everything anyway, but I just really like Grandmaster class. So. The Grandmaster. Grandmaster. Gotta get that Rally Spectrum. The rally everything. I think the first time I played this game... I just didn't realize how busted the tactician was. Also, I I think I made them like their flaw was magic because I don't because I didn't like mages at the time. Oh, I was like, I man, this unit's garbage. It was I think I got to this map. He was like level eleven, promoted him, and he still sucks as grandmaster. I'm like, man, why do people say this Robin unit good? This thing. How oh, times have changed. <laughs> nah. Okay, he's almost at the D rank swords for iron swords. If we want noodle to ever use a noodle. Uh, there was, I think there might even one more promotion, I don't see it right now though, so we we'll probably just go ahead and play. I mean, I could promote like Miriam or Lanko right now, but I don't, I don't really plan to field them. I would like, let's see, Tharja on her own, she kind of needs a pair partner, but, oh, there we go, we can get one more. Okay, let's just get Libra in here for now, until I figure out what to do with her. I could try just giving her Rickon, I guess, just because he probably gives an okay magic bonus. I'm kind of leaning towards a pairing anyway over... Libra. Although Libra is more useful to have around than Rickon, obviously. Oh well, we'll give it a go. Let's see. Uh, these Pegasi. Yeah. I would like to leave him to stall, but he might not be able to kill them. Although I think he can use the Beast Killer, so maybe that's actually a good option. Uh, he's like Sea Lances right now, right? Uh, he does. So I think we can just give him. 
instead of this, we can just trade the crom. Hold up. Trade the crom <laughs> to uh, Cordelia, because she is the thing right now. And with that, he might be able to kill the Pegasi. And those are, I think, are the biggest threat them. to the villagers. 17, 18. Yeah, he'll, he'll be fine. He doesn't take much damage from these. So we can use that to our advantage. Uh, just do a pair up shenanigan over here. Probably have Robin handle some of his right hand side. It's a little bit close for comfort. Uh, maybe you don't need Sumia Frederick for this kind of easy map. You can feel like uh, Sully Vake instead, for example. They're, or, they're more funny. Funny units. They got the imposing axe. That's true. We still have like nine, six, six meme uses we gotta go there. through. So, yeah. Is it the other one break or is it a one user sitting yeah. around? I think I broke another one. I think I used it. I don't know. I might. I think I used it a lot early on. Mm -hmm. I don't remember exactly how, but I think I, that's how it happened. I mean, it one shots things, so yeah. Handy. Now, Can't go now wrong with that. just doubles. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. And then Sully should probably be out of the forest so that if they compare it to her. Yeah, that seems fine. All right, let's, let's just see how this rolls. If it goes wrong, it goes wrong. I've learned not to not to try and think too much when playing Awakening. Okay, so no, wrong. Rickon, four magic. Hey, I'll take it. Uh, no speed, unfortunately, but we can kill this guy in one round, and this guy uh, will just hit us in the face. That's fine. So let's go with this guy. Did I turn animations on? I did. All right. Huh, to see you now. Let's go. All right. Nothing to oh, oh, that Goodbye. works. Goodbye. Ah. Saving Elf Thunder uses. You deserved worse. Confirmation that Sarge has the devil. 66. 66 damage. Right. Six here for that excellent plus seven attack. Oh my goodness. I mean, we could just maybe even go here and just wreck this dude with anything we want and then dance with Olivia and then let's do it again. Maybe let's figure out where Stahl goes first. Um, pair up here. Stay out of range of that guy and just get in range of the Pegasi, I think. Just the, just the Pegasi, just so they don't like, get in my way. Because the worst thing that can happen again is these Pegasi flying in and then being in range of the villagers without, without being able to do anything about it. So if I can just bait them turn one, get rid of the threat, I think we're, we're solid. I think that's pretty good too. It looks like, honestly, this whole square to the east of that northern Pegasi, nobody can reach that except maybe the archer. Because the thing was that fighter moves that might open up the square for the archer. Oh, yeah, well, this is all mountain range. I'd like to use, um, what's his face? Uh, Stahl to fight because he's more on a level than Sen Cordelia. So oh, that, that means I can't, much. like, switch around here, I think. Yeah, I can't because he doesn't, he doesn't go on peaks. He's not Gonzalez. So I'm thinking just they go here. Yeah, I mean, you can still use a flyer and cheese it that way, but, you know, why make fun of the game in a weak way when you can make fun of the game in a strong way? So we'll see the Beast Killer in action here, and just gotta be careful here that... Uh, if I use Olivia here to get two kills on Vake or something, I do make sure need to make sure she's not dead afterwards. Uh, it's kind of a shame that Sully's, like, not... Ooh, 35 hit. I'm sold. Ooh. Ooh, this still works though. This works, he's like Any so solid. If we dance from here, it's pretty easy to cover her with Chrom afterwards. Yeah, so. now that we've entered there into the game, it's kind of harder to find mm -hmm. opposing next situations. Yeah, I mean, I, I want to save it for one shot because that's the funniest thing. Let's see this. <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you for the javelin, Sully. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, did she actually use a javelin there? Ones. That's funny. Oh, it's Iron Man. Steel ones. Oh, even worse. Shucks. All right, dance. And I guess um, get rid of the. This guy is hard to hit. I guess so we'll go for him first. Got you covered. Let's give it a go. Goodbye, dude. The Vake never misses. Yeah, I rule. <laughs> I mean, is that a challenge? <laughs> okay, so she's safe. Uh, you can be here as backup, I guess, and she has a physic as well for backup purposes. So, let's move out here as an option. Oh, maybe not in range of Pegasi. Yeah, not this a big fan of that. Lissa goes burr. Yeah, I mean Lissa's kind of going burr already. She has really I mean, magic. Is outside, so. Right. Oh, right, that happens. Never mind. Forgot about that part. Hmm, maybe we need Cordelia to infinite. Well, I mean they're not, they're not dying in one hit, so maybe they're fine. But I completely forgot yeah, the villagers were like in range turn one. 
and they don't have weapons, so yeah, it's not like they can get themselves into extra combat. Yeah, that's true. On NPC phase, I think we just run left. Yeah, perhaps the only danger is just the stall fails to kill these guys on time. Yeah. But I mean, he's the Beast Killer, he gets like a bunch of speed from Cordelia. I think we can at least kill him in the next player phase. If not, then yeah, I, I would agree we're in trouble. And I mean, we have a bunch of other units we got. Let's say with the rescue staff. Oh yeah. You can bring extra firepower over there if we need to. Oh, yeah, because you can... Oh, there we go. That's an easy... You can kill like almost two Pegasus Knights with this. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Goodbye. Oh crap, yeah, this weapon kind of good. Yeah, you can even forge it too. It's like one of the reasons why I think Frederick holds up in the next few like main game chapters. Let's go, Stahl. Oh my goodness. The thing is, he's got like 5,000 of these like um, level ups, but his bases are just so eh that he still fails to like really impress by awakening standards. But hey, as I said, I like his face, so it's okay. There you go. Also, he just got outdoor fighter, uh, but I think it was like extra damage. Mostly, like, or I think it's plus 10 hit avoid if you're um, outdoors, which is what's the case right now. I saw the the guy that I bought this game off. He had a save file that I looked into for like a bonus video for my patrons, and uh, one of his fu the funny thing I saw. I think he has a um, he's one of the kids with outdoor fighter and indoor fighter. It's like the biggest brain I've ever seen. <laughs> it's like, all right, I'm good both outdoors and indoors. Checkmate. I would, yeah, I would. I'll laugh at it if I don't do the same thing on some yeah. of the units too. So. <laughs> okay, I think I think this is uh, this is wise. Let's go here. Get rid of this armor knight. So he stops bothering our hotheads. You want some? It's a very handy crit. <laughs> very fortunate. Very timely. Okay, if we can get him like that one last level that he needs, then he can. Uh, let's see, I can't dance for him anymore. I guess we'll just uh, from him. Try the lance crom. Oh, um, that's right. We gotta train the Lance Rank. Yeah. He doesn't have discipline, though. We didn't train him into cap. Yeah, shucks. My mistake. Actually, right, looks really cool. Yeah, that's not bad. It's like Ephraim. Is this? But Awakening. Right. There we go. Is this his Smash outfit, or. Oh, no, uh... I'll be honest, I've not played the newer Smash game. <laughs> I have no idea. No I'm idea. Only person, I, sometimes I feel like the only person on Earth who doesn't play Smash, so I have no idea. Alright. Um, I need to stop. trying to be stuff. relatable to the Nintendo fans. <laughs> Might be. Uh, let's see. You can probably. Oh, you can't even attack there. Okay, let's do this. Could even done with Rickon, honestly. <laughs> Goodbye. Well, maybe we could have attacked close and just had a hundred hit, thanks to our skills. I always forget about that with mages. It's like I want to attack from range, and then actually it's a bad idea because you get hit bonus up close with this, right? Yeah, should've done that. Oh my goodness, that's yeah. so much. Yeah, it's so much. I'm surprised every time I look at it. Yeah, you just see a mage and range damage, and like and your neurons activate. <laughs> uh, this needs. I uh, kind of could use some more sword ranks, so might as well go for this, I guess. Come on, boy! Here you go. You got touch turn up. Coming up. Stall. He's no crumb. Yeah, well, he'll survive. He'll be fine. Be fine. Um, I mean, we should try out Grandmaster Robin at least once on something. Because we can send him to the nice bottom. Ooh. I think we got some Armor Knights in the bottom. Yeah. It's like good target practice for him. Also, these guys over here. They, they are... Uh, They're hmm. kind I'm trying of to good, think, do I would, like Rescue Staff with my last use? And then move further forward and use a Dance? Or all these overkill options that I have. I could Rescue Staff Olivia closer, just to get him like really far ahead. Like, Dance over the river? Yeah, just be like uh, here and rescue. Ooh. <laughs> rescue him away Whoa. from Crom. <laughs> yes. And go here. Dance for pair. Need to be over here. Yay. This was a marriage by convenience. <laughs> this close to a tile. I don't think you can get S support. Uh, I think once you have S support, you probably can't get support points from tiles, I assume. Probably not. That's the best benefit, honestly. Oh, look at that, 69% dual strike level. This game just keeps on looting Lissa, not me. Let's get him. Oh, what? Nicely done. Nice. Nicely done. So exactly how much time has passed since the time skip? Uh, one year? I think one year is what they said. I'm not entirely okay. sure. I 
think they, they definitely mentioned it somewhere, because I'm not the only one who remembers it being one year, I think. Alright, more, more Ephraim training. Yeah, it's gotta be the case if we all remember it, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you Excuse could... Villagers have been running away for a while. You could probably tell by the age of baby Lucina, right? Because she was born right after, probably. But I don't know for sure. Probably, I mean... Go for it. It's like nine months or so, right? Yeah, that's, that's well, usually how long it takes to get a baby, even in this universe. Usually. Usually. Your mileage may vary. Much. Can we get speed, please? Please! Again, Olivia. <laughs> that's the speed 11 stuff. Yeah. It's like, I think there's literally just two speed wings. <laughs> oh no. Alright, okay. pretty sure Olivia can 1v1 this unit. Uh, can she? That'd be really funny if she could. 21 attack. I mean, other than the fact that she nearly gets one killed, and the fact that she does one damage back, yeah, she can 1v1 him. <laughs> oh, did she join with a concoction? Uh, apparently she did, because I, I don't think I ever gave her one. If I did, that'd be my mistake. I always love it when these units join in and they have like no HP with the join with no Yeah, like, all the like dancers. Nino, <laughs> yeah, dancers, like Nino, Sonic E. Minion. Like, what are you gonna do with that? You know what? I got this. Sorry, I need something to do. Let's just move these two down here. Let's even switch to her. Uh, oh, wait. Let's so rearrange the archer now. Yeah, she is. Of course she is. Easy. Uh, but it's okay, because he's, he's an iron bow. Oh yeah, that's that's also an option. Probably do that then. Probably better. Damn. I almost got- I almost greeted myself out of a very easy chapter here. Uh, that would have been embarrassing. That's uh, never happened, right? Just a little bit. That's never happened before, nah. Yeah, I've this one guy who doesn't make mistakes. So uh -huh. Never. Never. Okay, that should be safe. I just, want, I just want Tharja to kill this dude. Uh, come over here, play. Alright. You don't want to put the Nosferatu to him and heal it all back. If there was all that enemies around, I probably would have done it. Probably. Arguably. Yeah, Wait. Dual striking. Stick by me. <laughs> Rick in time. Come on. No! I wanted Rickon to get the kill. <laughs> Has Rickon done anything this map? I mean, he gave Tharja magic. It's good enough, right? Oh, do they actually oh, they need to escape, or do they just need to survive? I don't remember. Uh, they need to survive. Okay. Which is a challenge in, unto itself, pretty sure. Yeah, I mean, it's supposed to be a challenge, at the very least. It's probably a challenge if you take this paralog as soon as you're supposed to get it. Alright, hit him in the face. It's stall yeah, time. But in a way, we're kind of seeing the challenge, because we deployed the B-team. Ooh, plus yeah, magic. in a way. I mean, even my B team is just kind of overleveled for this kind of thing. But hey, it's fine. It's, if, if it gives me an excuse to use stall, I'll take it. Honestly, Kabir Dash should do like one thing in this map at the very least. It's kind of fair, unfair she's just deployed with, without doing anything. Come on. Seriously. Come on. Uh, what do we use? It doesn't matter. Just use a lance. There you go. Use a lance. Yeah, just pick a lance. Any lance. It's like last night when I was recording with someone, I was like, okay. We were talking for like literally like 10 minutes. I was like, okay, can you say a sentence real quick so I can test the recording? She's like, uh, I can't think of a sentence. <laughs> oh, maybe get the village. Well, that, well, like, well, that counts. So. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> it still worked, yeah. Please, I insist. Yeah, it's a physics <laughs> style question, right? I actually don't know what this village is. <laughs> just, just barred gates, forehead. Yeah, that's, that's kind of funny. Just let the refugees Ooh. in, man. Don't be a dick, come get? on. Oh, we got a... Um, we got a blessed bow. It's kind of cool. I think that's... I think it was in the shop before. I think I checked it out before, but it's like... You just equip it, you heal 10 HP every turn, apparently. Seems, uh, interesting. Alright, Sully. Looks like a subset of the Risen. Yeah. What training? Oh! Ooh. Where else would she have gotten that? <laughs> Alien rank lances, baby. Oh, she do have it. Yeah. So she can use the Brave Lance now. We don't even need to give it to Frederick anymore. Let's check out this Shining Tile. Who's going to find it, Lissa? What? No. It's a gift. Look, they give each other oh, gifts now. Oh, that's kind of cute. Oh, never mind. What? They don't, huh? 
Well, no, I well. thought I thought you'd get an. I actually thought you'd get an item. I was like, there's no way you can just improve an S rank relationship, but apparently you can. Okay. You can, well, yeah. That's whatever. Rubbish. Yeah, pretty rubbish. I mean, whatever makes a Wayne like happier, right? I guess so. I right, give you a gift. It's just a secret signal that's a plus one stat to a Wayne. Probably. My true secret has been exposed. Oh no. A Wayne's secret tile. I like how we played the chapter without ever finding out what uh, Crom's pair of bonuses with Olivia were. Okay, I'm just gonna oh, let, yeah. I'm just gonna let these boys we'll escape. Because I wanna see if there's anything. I don't think we'll ever know what the pair of bonuses are to be honest with you. No. It's a mystery, and there's no way for us to find out. Quickest divorce ever. I mean there's there's probably a way to find out. If you wanna be really fancy about it. Um oh, man. Your Patreon sure know how to pick them, don't they? Yeah. Is there a way? I mean, it would have to be a rescue staff at this rate. It's, uh... Unless... Now we're thinking. <laughs> we're done thinking now, though. Okay, I think you have like three moves, so it's like... Go here. So do you have like crit or anything dumb like that? Nope. Okay. Just no. just chill here for a second. Don't kill this guy yet. Don't kill. I just, wanna, Don't I, just, I just want to know. The, I just want to know the pair of bonuses. I just want to know. I need to know. Mix B. We have to get the knowledge. Vake is gonna pair up. Crit with the Iron X. I don't think they do that if you're unequipped, but he can prove me wrong now if he wants to. Nah, he's just he's just dancing. He's just dancing. Oh, they just and walk to the corner. All right, let's see them. Cordelia had just have give give Olivia to Crom. <laughs> Thanks, friend. Thanks, friend. I'm so oh, that, that's Cordelia. definitely speed and luck. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, luck, that's yeah. such a bad pair up. Honestly, he's, he's, if he's doubling already, like if he's if he's fine with this avoid the way it is, and this is basically useless. Like, yeah, this, this is a pretty rubbish pair up. Not yeah. Gonna lie. I mean, at least that means that Olivia doesn't need to be paired with anyone else all the time to make him good. Mm -hmm. I can just use her for dancing, I guess. It just kind of sucks for Crom, though. Maybe Crom should build like a support with like a bro or something. So, so yeah, hands, support but... with one of the dudes. Yeah. Here you go, Cordelia. I need you to deliver Crom's wife to Crom. <laughs> it's imperative that you get together. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are we gonna escape or not? I want to know. Teach is watching. <laughs> Teach is only watching. Run. Or they just, they just go to the corner and chill there. They don't even escape, bro. Seriously? That one thief got away, but these villagers don't know how to? SMH. Oh, the guy got a silver dance. Yeah, this guy has a silver dance. And he has an elixir, yeah. too. It's very cool. What is this lunatic? Yeah, I know, right? Insane difficulty spike coming up right here. Did we die? No. Okay. Um, let's, uh... Can we impose and axe this dude? Of course we can. I mean... 69% chance that he'll get a dual strike and kill this guy in one round. I think it's worth. They knew what they were doing. Yeah. You can do this. 25%. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the giant axe. <laughs> I, st I still love it. I think we can get like another five kills out of this thing. Yeah. Of course. If it one shots, it one shots, right? Free elixir. Every time. Okay. Thank you. Treasure. We get three treasures? Oh, just one treasure, unfortunately. Right. I think it's just one treasure, and it's pretty doo doo, too. Oh, this is so deep. It's actually kind of an inspirational message. Ooh, Seraph Robe, a log, a ladle. Okay. Uh, what the hell are those? I mean, this chapter is a joke. Yeah. Oh, they're, the, uh, they're pretty good weapons. Are they? No. <laughs> I think they're. They gotta be joke weapons, right? That's what they got. Yeah, they're they're the joke weapons. Uh, uh log and ladle are I think lance and axe. Oh, makes sense. Uh log is a lance. Yeah, that's that's a joke weapon, alright. That's that juicy one might ninety hit. I think that's the <laughs> weak and ill suited divan. Yeah, is the idea that you just give them to your Jagan if you want to you know, hold them I think back. it's part joke. Part allowing you to not kill things, um, part allowing to forge them and make them kill things, and that's funny. All that kind of stuff. Basically, just typical waking stuff when you think about it. You know. It's, uh, it's pretty good. 
Okay, we have like, we have so many stat boosters now. I mean, I mean it's a short episode anyway, we might as well just hand out some stat boosters. So, we have a robe, an energy drop, a spirit dust, a speed wing, a goddess icon, a talisman. We have like one of everything, basically. Basically a promotion item. Yeah, we, we can just promote a person and then give them a promotion. Uh, I'm thinking speed wing fake because he's just... At this point, we've like trained him to the point where... He knows he doesn't need to get speed for us. He just knows we give him speed wings instead. So I guess we just gotta keep him feeding him speed wings. He's I think this is a pretty good rule. Mm -hmm. There are enough times when we're fighting with Fake and he doubles something, and then sometimes he doesn't double something. Mm -hmm. Usually, my personal rule with speed wings is if you have a unit whom you expect to double, and then they don't double, yeah, they're barely. usually a good candidate yeah. for the speed wing. Yeah, I agree. That's how I then like anyone who's on the cusp of doubling should get them. I feel like. Um, I think Cordelia or Sumia would be a good candidate for the Angelic Robe. Um, so Sumia's already promoted and Cordelia's not. I have a feeling Cordelia's actually going to end up with better durability overall. Especially when it comes to um, defense as well. So I think having Sumia, I get the Robe is fine. Um, I don't want to overuse her or anything, because like, if I use... I could probably just solo the game with any of these promoted paired up units at this point. Uh, but Sumia has a nice like emergency button for places, and training her will allow me to get a Guild Force. So... Having her see some action is nice, and sure. then and it's, it's kind of embarrassing seeing her with exactly as much HP as, per, as like unpromoted Cordelia. <laughs> so. Yeah, so this this fixes that problem. Now we could pretend that she's better again. There we go. Absolutely right. Pretend. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, engineering, engineering. I guess Longku would be okay because he'll just always double in. So that way he just does more doubling damage. Yeah, I'm really just handing about whatever I feel like. Talisman, Spirit Dust, Goddess Icon. Spirit Dust might be nice on like Libra or Tharja for better Nos tanking. I think Spirit Dust Tharja makes the most sense actually. Do more damage with Nos Ratu. There you go. Magic Dust 2 is never gonna hurt. Yeah. Talisman is. Uh, let's see, look. Is anyone who's getting like facing crit rates? I don't remember. Uh, Style's kind of low on luck. And that's about it. So I guess I could just give it to Stahl. Or Gregor. I like Gregor. We're giving it to Gregor. Sorry, Stahl. I like this guy. More arms thrift. Yep. Oh, that's true too. He has arms thrift. That's right. Okay, here you go. Ten luck. There you go. There you go. We yeah. figured it out. The Talisman is always the hardest one to place, mm -hmm. in my opinion. I do agree. Is usually people who have resistance don't really need much more. Yeah, like now people we never need this. Yeah, no. Someone with, with one to range for sure. Um, so Cordelia actually looks like a recent candidate because her res is like not looking super great, but she's still in a like kind of a, she kind of has the stats to take on mages somewhat reliably, but she takes a bit too much to take. Remember that group of like a sage and a bunch of mages in the last chapter? Cordelia wouldn't have survived that, but if he, if she had this on her, she probably would. So I think this makes the most sense. Probably. I think the other thing that makes this item hard to use is you also have pure waters. Yeah. Or the ward stuff. Do we actually have pure waters in this game? Um, now that I say that, I'm beginning to second guess myself. Yeah, I don't we remember the them anywhere. Stuff. I haven't seen them in shops anywhere. So I'm not sure anymore. But uh, anyway, we do have a ward, but it only has like five uses, and I think we used two of them last chapter. So, I mean, it's good to have like an extra way to kill mages. That's not just uh, ward a physical unit and hope for the best. And even if not, we still have like Naoi to mage kills and stuff. Uh, so we don't need the ward staff or anything, but I think having an extra unit that can take on mages somewhat reliably is nice. Yeah, I yeah and I think this is a wise decision, talisman on Cordelia. Yeah. Okay, um, that's gonna do it for this uh, episode. Next time we're gonna go on a vacation to Valm, because Alm just had to name like half a continent after himself. Very cool, Alm. Very cool. I, he kind of deserves it. He did a lot of good things. He, um, he, he watched Jenny kill Duma, so in that way... He is a good guy. What? He deserves it. Dude, spoilers. I haven't played that game yet. Oh, you're right. You're right. Okay. No, I'm kidding. Um, forget I said that. Goodbye. <laughs>